Hi, so I just wanted to record a quick video talking about polar alignment using Sharp Cap Pro. Um, I've got video recording going off now on my separate screen, uh, so I'm just going to talk you through what I'm doing while I'm doing it actually physically right now, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to overlay the video for you at the same time. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is connect to the camera, 2600 MC in my case. Let it start firing for a few exposures. There we go. Um, you probably know that I have a reasonably long base exposure set there, one uh, one second each, and I'm going to set it even higher again, so there's plenty of stars visible uh, in the field of view. Um, so now I've done this, I'm going to go to Tools, and we're going to look at Polar Align. So when I open this, it's actually going to capture an image and place all it. The first thing to do is let it do that, uh, and then press next. Just wait a moment, okay. So now we're going to rotate the right ascension axis around about 90 degrees. So we're just going to unlock the RA clutch and rotate it about 90 degrees, just as it requests. So what that's doing is it's going to offer a transformation uh, in the plate solves. Uh, and from that you can work out just how far away or how close your polar alignment is. Um, so mine's really rather close this time and that's because whenever I bring my telescope out I, um, I actually pop it into a few indents that I drilled on the floor after doing a, a polar alignment uh, so it's always quite close. Um, yours may be needing more adjustment but in my case you can see that it's fair currently and I need to move left and down. So I'm going to use that by using the azimuth and altitude bolts here. So I'll just, wow, they found. Okay, so I'm going to give it a small movement and wait and see what the uh, the adjustments caused on your screen. So I'm going to move this bolt that's on my right for quite a small amount, and that's pushing it left, as you can see, uh, hopefully on the screen recording. And it's another small amount. Weight, and that's far close enough uh, for my liking. So I'll lock that back down and make sure things haven't changed again. Okay, that's good. And then finally, it requests a small downwards movement. So you'd actually want to push with this front facing bolt and maybe undo the uh, the rear one if it ever so slightly. It's really quite tight. I do like to leave these tight so that they don't slip, uh, as you've probably noticed I carried my old rig out uh, at once. And that's almost perfect now, so I'm just going to leave that and hopefully that explains um, the process to you a bit more. And uh, as it's showing now, excellent, that's fine, uh, I'll just call it quits. <laughs> Thank you, uh, I hope you enjoyed.